Thank you for the singing tonight. Amen. Appreciate every, all the work that went into that. Amen. Don't take it for granted. Yeah. We are in, uh, for temporarily, we're in the book of 2 Samuel. Just everybody here. We uh, need to pray for Monty Smith had knee surgery a few weeks back and he's still recuperating at home. And then Tracy Garrett is at home sick tonight. She's been sick all week. Uh, we need to pray for her. Um, but I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're here. Second Samuel chapter 23. <clears throat> Schofield put here the last words of David, which actually is not the last words of David, because he talked to his son, 1 Kings chapter 1. But uh, anyway, that's these are some of his last words, and he says he talks about David's mighty men later on in the chapter. But in the beginning of the chapter, it says, Now these are the last words of David, the son of Jesse, said to the man who was raised up on high. Now, if these are the last words of David, then they were, they're not in sequence. They're not in order. And, of course, the Bible says they're the last words of David, but uh, this application being the last words of instruction. And it says here, <clears throat> verse number 2, The Spirit of the Lord spake by me, and his word was in my tongue. And the God of Israel said to the rock of Israel, spake to me that he ruleth over men must be just ruling in the fear of God. He shall be a delight of the morning when the sun riseth, even as the morning without clouds, as the tender grass springing up out of the earth by clear shining after rain, although my house be not so with God. Now David here is reflecting back on the uh, raising his own children. Now, David was not <clears throat> what you would classify as an ideal father. He made some mistakes, and he admits that mistake. Um, and he's, he's talking about it here in verse number 5. My house be not so with God, yet God made me an everlasting covenant. So he focuses on what's coming up in the future and the things that God has done for him. David knows he belongs to the Lord. He also knows that he made some errors in raising his children. One of the greatest errors he made is when he had committed a sin with Bathsheba. And, of course, that child out of that wedlock or that, that relationship was uh, taken by the Lord. And then Solomon was the next child. And Solomon and David, uh, excuse me, uh, Bathsheba and David had Solomon, who was the oldest child out of four other, three other siblings. So he's the oldest out of four boys. And we're going to talk about some of that tonight. The sermon I want to preach to you tonight is akin to what I preached last Sunday night. And I don't, sometimes God does that. And this sermon is not for everybody. And I said this before, that God will, will, will implement a sermon in, into the church. Uh, that may be just for one person or trying to raise children. Now, we have... 